Hello everyone, today I'm here with my sister-in-law Clara. You remember Pedro, so this is Clara. He talked about her. So here she is. Hi Clara! Hi! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> so we here today. Clara is from Spain. Right. Yes. How old are you Clara? I'm 32 years old. And how old were you when you learned English? Um, so... When I moved to the UK, I was 25 years old. So you see, like 25 is not very young to be learning a new language. It's more, it's harder when you're 25, I think, right? Yeah, I think it's harder than when you're younger, but yeah. easier than when you're older. Well, yeah. definitely. It's like in the middle, I think. Because exactly. when you're 40, it's a completely different thing when you're learning. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So when you moved to England, yeah. did you know any English at all? Um, I knew the basics, like I knew like, like what? A, a few sentences, like, hello, how are you? and you know very little to be honest but then like when you would say to someone or someone said to you hey how are you you would probably say i'm fine thank you yeah and no one says that in england right? no <laughs> like, it doesn't exist because it's yeah. so formal yeah it's true yeah and then you say that and then that's it you, you don't know how to continue the conversation that you that don't was do that <laughs> So you moved to England when you were 25, yeah. with basic English, Yeah. and how long, look at your pee mug. <laughs> That's a pee for Patricia. A pee for Pedro as well, otherwise oh, yeah. you'd be jealous. <laughs> You're watching me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, how long did it take you to learn English, to feel that you could communicate really well? I think maybe it took me like six months, not that my English was good or mm -hmm. anything but to feel like I could understand everyone and I could express myself yeah, yeah. about six months but I was very mm, like I was very strict with my rules like one of my rules was to not have any Spanish friends in the UK and I was literally avoiding them so good and it's hard to avoid Spanish people in London because yeah. when they meet you they would just try to be your friends they would invite you to Spanish parties in London and yeah some of them I met in the O olive oil section at Tesco. Are you <laughs> serious now? <laughs> and I would just be very kind of dry with them, you know? Yeah, and yeah. just say like, yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, yeah. let's not be friends. Ever. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And that's amazing that you said that, because actually I made a video about this not long ago, saying that if you're Brazilian in London, you should just avoid Brazilian people yeah. altogether. Yeah. Because otherwise you don't learn. Exactly. Right? Now I have some Spanish friends in London. Yeah. But now I feel like I can because now I speak exactly. well. Exactly. Yeah. But at the beginning that was the, the best thing. Because then I surrounded myself not with English only because that's very hard in London. Yeah. But with people from all nationalities. So yeah. I had to force myself to speak English exactly. all the time. Yeah. yeah. So do you feel like, because you're from Spain and normally people who are from Spain, just like Brazilians, we have a very specific accent normally talking in English. Yeah. Do you feel that having this accent got in the way of your learning or not? Mm, no, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I think I accepted that I have a strong accent, like mm -hmm. a Spanish accent, but I don't want to lose it because I don't want to pretend to sound British because it yeah. would be too hard for me at this point. Exactly. And then, I mean, sometimes some people don't understand me. Oh. Um, some very kind of close British people that only kind of talk with British people yeah so they kind of take a few minutes to almost synchronize my accent as if it was a radio station you know oh my and gosh. then once they get it they're okay but okay. most people are fine since the beginning I think it's just some people are really not used to listening to any foreign accent yeah yeah because yeah. you sound really good you sound really clear uh -huh. it's really easy to understand you I think you. and you speak really well <laughs> as well so do you have like a favorite word or not just a favorite word but a word in English that you like, you like the sound of it, you like the meaning mm. or an expression or something? Uh.